Chapter 14, The Gender of Violence. Violence is one of the most identifiable gendered behaviors statistically in society. Crime rates for women have actually fallen in recent years with some slight increases in property crimes. Some believe biology, and testosterone in particular, causes men to be more violent, whereas others attest to evolution. But both explanations are questionable. There is evidence that violence is greater in societies with more gender inequality, making violence not only a social phenomenon, but also one related to challenges to men's power. Violence is built into our institutions, and therefore is taught to boys on a consistent basis, thus linking masculinity to violence and ultimately power and dominance. Much of this derives from the development of the United States, from our immigrants who relied on it to deal with conflict or survive the frontier. Much of the violence in our society has been justified as defense, even when the reason for it was created by the person who was engaging in the violent behavior. Violence against women is commonplace in society because there is a relationship between the status of women in a society and rape rates, which means the culture determines the acceptability of rape. A woman is much more likely to be raped by someone she knows, including spouses. Marital rape, which was exempt from the law until the 1980s, is a component of a larger social issue of wife abuse. Along with the high rates of wife abuse, there are claims of battered husbands, but the rates and overall experiences differ from that of women. Discussions about the rates of abused wives and abused and husbands surround issues of methodology. Regardless, for both men and women, abuse extends beyond all social boundaries, including race, class, age, and sexuality. The learning objectives for Chapter 14 are to understand what crimes women in America commit and with what prevalence, to be able to name and discuss critically the various explanations for the high rate of crime among men in America, to know how statistically prevalent crime among men is, to be able to name the institutional practices that play into crime rates and patterns in the United States, and to understand the nature and frequency of violence against women.